Yo, what's going on, guys? Another AW video, of course. It's just the most consistent thing to put out because it happens every so often. And this time around, we have America Chavez, Spider Punk, and Bed Ray Bill. Now, I don't, I, I, I don't think our alliance is like super complicated, so we don't get like a signed, um fights and people or I mean our champions that we use so that's kind of why it's more simplistic these videos compared to other ones um, but yeah we're gonna use spider punk for most of the fights but I do end up using better bill and America Chavez of course but I planned it all out now man spider punk is just I, I don't I don't know man I guess he's kind of the MVP because He's been fun to use, and he's, he's rupture immune, he's a science, there's a lot of mystics in war. He does a good amount of damage. Um, I just never find a problem using him, so yeah, we're gonna use him again, and props possibly, and probably, for the next few wars. So yeah, it's been pretty fun, man. The Sasquatch is just a kind of chunky, I shouldn't have done that, I knew that, I knew that he was gonna parry me, but... I thought I'd be fast enough. Unfortunately, I wasn't. Now, we're just dexing a special two. I'm not dead. Um, now, this guy does have... I forget what um, mastery that is when you stun... Or, I mean, when you invade him. It's, I think, actually, yeah. I know what it is. It's unfazed. So, um, obviously, I still have a lot of masteries I want to unlock. But they cost a lot of cores. And that is one of them. The... Um, I just said it. What's it called? Um... Is it... I literally just said it. I already forgot what it's called. That's great. Um, I can't remember, but I do want that mastery because it will help against evaders. So, oh yeah, unfazed. So yeah, I, I played a bit of a role here, but um, I still got this guy down. Go. Um, the main rotation is to go for special two and special one with this guy. Um. The three, the um, special three will just help you ramp quicker. Um, it gives you more of your crowd, but I think the real ramp is just a special two. You get the ruptures and you burst them down with the special one. So I don't really know what a special D three really does for you, but I just find special two, special one way easier. So that's more convenient for me. Now we got another mystic. Got Destroyer, and I almost thought this guy was Rupture Immune, but apparently he isn't. Um, even though he's made of like Uru or Asgardian Metal, uh, I guess he's not Rupture Immune. So I should have Dex like Dex to that, but he got his charges. I just dashed away. So I mean, it's fine. I'm just gonna push Destroyer to a special two because now he is way easier to fight due to a uh, Summer of Suffering. And that boss has made it way easier to fight Destroyer. Um, I just dex that so easily. It's just one dash back and then go for the same rotation I've been talking about the whole time. Let the unstoppable expire. And I could honestly just let him die from rupture, which I end up doing. It, it, like, there's no point in using a special one. It'll actually make it slower there, I think. I, I, would, I would assume. But this path also, this little lane had a Penny Parker, so we're gonna go with Beta Ray Bill. Um, the nodes aren't crazy, I don't know. I, I also, I think I forgot to select like the clarity thing in the beginning of the war, so I'm not getting any special boosts or buffs or whatever. Actually, no, I think I actually do have it here. Um, I don't know really what's up with that, but this Penny Parker, I think it, I think it said rank one. I know um, this is definitely on Awaken. I think she might be rank one. I don't know, but pretty easy just gotta get rid of her sink shield and then get a few shocks on her now I think fortunately this time I was actually able to get my ramp from a special two I'm pretty sure I got at one of these fights um, usually I can just kill them with special ones and my shocks but the ramp just guarantees that they're dead with the special two the buff pause um, sometimes they actually won't die from a special one with all these um, shocks and i do end up missing that right there i didn't think she would block it that's kind of dumb on my part uh, excuse me on my part you guys gotta live with my voice crack and it's just gonna happen but yeah there we go special one and that kills her because i get the fury 
on the special one makes the damage even more um, amplified. So that actually did kill her. But one of these fights, I think I do get my buff pause, <clears throat> which is very nice. But I'm looking here. I'm like another weapon X. Ooh, an absorbing man. And I'm like, he has regeneration. It's just like the other absorbing man that I fought in one of my last wars. And so we're going to it. We're going to do it. And something odd is I, I, at these past few wars, I'm always fighting absorbing mans and I'm always fighting weapon X's. So I, I don't know. It's just, here we go with another absorbing man. He's going to have regeneration and that's pretty much it. So I've fought, I've had this fight multiple times. Um, I don't really care about the regen. I mean, I, I, it is a bit of regen, so I will kind of want to worried about it. So we'll deactivate his Uru form with the heavy attack and just intercept him with my special two to push him to a special two. That way he won't be immune to rupture and I can just have that ticking. And I can also disable this, which did work, deactivated it. Now I could go for a special one to convert my ruptures, but fortunately I push him to a special one and he gets Iru form. Now actually I don't think he's, he actually may not be rupture immune in Uru form, but it's just physical, it's basically also like physical resistance and energy resistance with his form. So uh, I wanted to push him to a special two. And I took some massive burst damage right there. Not really nice. But yeah, as you can see, obviously, he's not Rupture Moon, actually. So, he's just going to be more resistant to it, though. Because he's he was taking 900 damage plus out of it from each Rupture Tick. Um, and then with it on, he's only taking like 100 or 200 damage per Rupture Tick. So, this wasn't, a really, this wasn't really a pretty fight. But... I tried to make the most out of it. I mean, I am pretty low on health. So, right here, yeah, I go for the little evade. Which is nice. I love that he has that built in. It's like, like any champions with that passive evade, like Kate Bishop or whatever, you know, it's called. It's like her type of thing is, is really nice to have. But, yeah, I go for it again. And I think that's actually helping me avoid a lot of the block burst damage. I don't really know how he activates, like, the burst damage on his block. Or when I balk or parry, but it doesn't really matter because he's dead. Now, I am kind of low with Spider Punk, but that's alright. We move on. And we will be moving on to a... Um, actually, I kind of forget. I, mean, I think it might be a Weapon X. Yeah, so no one took the Weapon X down yet. I'm like, I might as well do that because I want to try to explore. Um, we want to get all three battle groups to explore. The, their war paths or just the just the quests so we can get the dub here and so I decided to go to the other path and kill off this weapon X but I didn't really know what to use because they all could have worked um I was just thinking Beta Ray Bill is the safest option he can burst him down um this is like another so like what I was saying with Abyss man I fight them all the time and freaking Weapon X. So here we go again. He has the rampage mode, which is so fun. Um, the key is getting intercepts with him in his rampage mode, which he goes kind of passive, which is weird. He goes passive and aggressive, like he just switches when he's in rampage mode. So it's very weird, but I am able to get some intercepts off, which leads me to a pretty nice special one, I think. Or actually, I actually, oh no, I get a, I get my power and here, here I'm talking, here's what I meant. I get my ramp. So somehow, um, it's cause there's a node, so I was immune to it. And then I gained my power, which is really nice, but I'm able to get my ramp pretty much. He only has 10 shocks, which isn't even my max ramp. I gain more power. He blocks this, but I can deal the shocks through block. And then he does throw a bit of a combo in my face. Now, he didn't throw a full combo, so I am fine. But my shocks are about to expire. They do expire. And since I didn't throw a special one, I didn't do that much damage. Um, which I was kind of sad about. But I had two shocks on him. Special one. And see how much that did? Just imagine if that was times 
five, I'm pretty sure. So, um, there's only one Fury, too. So, I missed out, but it's okay, because he's pretty low. However, he's in his Rampage mode. He's going to be gaining that regen. I'm just going for special ones, because that's, like, the only way I'm going to kill him off now. One more Shock Burst right here. I thought I would do it, and it didn't. Um, maybe because I didn't have my buff pause, I don't know. But also, it is only one shock. Either way, I go for yet another special one, and he's pretty much dead. So that's very nice. Um, the Absman and the Weapon X this time around were a little bit trickier than the last wars, but it still ain't no challenge, bro. Pretty easy. Now, we got... A Killmonger into a Serpent because I have Chavez and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take the um, Serpent down. So we're going to get through this Killmonger. Now, I didn't really know what to use here. I'm like, will Bill give him his um, power for my passive shock? So I ended up going in and trying it. Um, I should have figured this out beforehand, but I think we end up being good here. Actually, I think I do have one death this war based on like my stats because that... Just to say, I did get MVP. Um, obviously, there's three MVPs in Alliance War. It's kind of a weird system, but... Um, excuse me, but there are three MVPs, and I did get one of the MVPs on my team. Um, it said I had one death, so... It may be in here. I, I don't totally remember, because this war was just a little bit ago. It didn't just happen, so I don't fully remember, but... I'm able to... Get much yep 20 for the buff pause which is nice and i'm i'm guessing he's not gaining his power from my shocks right um it's kind of i i was trying to focus on that but also i had my ramp so i was just gonna kill him off i'm like you know what doesn't really matter does it because he's just gonna die here right and it's close um one more pop will kill him though for sure of my shocks and this is only one or two thirds of my ramp by the way they're actually not even including the furies this is not it's only eight shocks that's not even 12 and also i only had one fury so beta bill is not a bad champion you just have to use him correctly and i would say even though oh no it didn't kill him within one rotation or one like one special one i i, I don't care that's doesn't matter because I use them correctly, so all you gotta do is use them correctly, and everything's fine. So all the beta ray bill haters, I'm just not having that. But here we go, serpent, the last fight of this war for me. Um, this is gonna be a very nice Chavez fight. Now, same thing with serpents, man. There's been a lot of serpents in the past few wars. This guy. Uh, of course is awakened so you know my strat we're gonna have to go with the um be kind of patient when he gets to his immortality because he will be gaining a bit of power so i can't just kill him off here i try to just gain my dimensions and um i reactivated my utopian dimension or just call it the orange dimension just go by colors but yeah i have a good ramp now I could kill him off right there if he wasn't awakened, but I know he has immortality. I unfortunately get clipped a little bit there, but man, Shaw was actually pretty tanky at rank 2. So I don't know really what I did here. I mean, I was losing my dimensions, so I was. I didn't really know. I don't really know what happened there, but um, I want to get my dimensions, of course, so. Because he's going to heal quite a bit, and then I'm going to have to burst him down, so. I'm gonna go for another heavy and two special one. I have two of my three dimensions. He just keeps throwing special attacks, of course. There goes his power gain, and he's close to being dead. Go for a special, or actually go for a heavy attack. Now, here comes his regen with the mortality. I don't know why I went for this. I just had it. So that was kind of a bad idea, because, I mean, it didn't kill him. And now he's gaining um, a bunch of power because of his just passive power gain kind of thing. No, I don't think it's passive, but then he gets a special two, which gives him more power. But his mortality at this point is already gone. So all I gotta do is burst him down. No biggie. 
we got him in the bin, and that's really gonna do it for this war. I end up killing him off. Um, it's been pretty fun using these champions. We'll have to see what happens next time. But we do end up winning this war. It's just been a lot of win, loss, win, win, loss, loss, win, loss. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that's just what's been happening. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I may be streaming here and there, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys very soon.